Hello, my YouTube friend. Oh man, today's gonna be an exciting video. I have a bootleg to show you guys, which is gonna be kind of funny. I have three mystery packages from friends of the channel. I'm really excited to go through those. And I have, uh, let's see, I have one big kind of trade from a patron of mine. I have another box that's another trade that I got a little while ago. A couple commercial boxes. I think overall, there's just gonna be a ton of fun stuff to go through. All right, let's start digging into these boxes. Okay, let's start off with this mystery box. This comes from my patron, Al. He shipped it to me uh, just like a couple weeks ago. I'm excited to see what's in it. All right, let's dig in. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here. He just said he was gonna send me a little mystery. So I'm excited. I love a good mystery. All right. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys kind of look in here first. That's what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna dig in slowly. Just, I don't wanna be spoiled. I wanna, I wanna have fun with this. Okay. All right, uh, uh, some loose stuff. Uh, I think that's a pop, something else in a box. All right, let's see what we got in loose figures. Oh, okay, this is cool. We have a DC Superhero Girls um, Wonder Woman. I actually don't have her. That is cool. She's really cute. Okay, that is cool. Thank you, Al. All right, I was not expecting that. Oh, okay, and then we have a Harlequin. Okay, that is very cool. Oh, wow. Thank you. I don't have these. I've been meaning to get these. They came out, what, like a year or two ago? And I just never got them. They were on my want list. All right. That's actually really cool. Okay. I think we have a pop. Uh, okay. We have a Bloody Baron. I can't remember if I have this one or not. I know I have a couple of the, the ghosts from Harry Potter, but I don't know if I have all of them. That one I'm going to have to double check. All right. Thank you. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, we have a Chrome Hulk. It's a Walmart exclusive. Ah, I feel like I have that one already. I am willing to give this one away. I just did a comic book video a couple days ago. It didn't get a lot of views. If you guys go to my comic book video, watch it for at least five minutes and leave a comment on the video that just says the amount of time you watched it, you'll enter. Now, if that video gets to 10,000 views within the next month or so, I'll actually give this away. Since Al gave it to me, I want to give it back to you guys. I just ask that you watch my comic video for at least five minutes. Just write the amount of time you watch the video for in the comments. So that I want that video to do really well. So <laughs> thank you, Al. I appreciate that. That is cool. Here's some small stuff. What do we have here? Okay, that's... Uh... Oh, okay. It's some kind of capsule Thor figure, I think. Let's see if I can put them together. His head seems a little bit... There must be another piece that attaches to him. Uh, how does this go? Okay, I think he goes in the back like that. There must be something else that goes to him. Oh, 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 a loose figure. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, these are cool. Oh, wait, there's Loki. Okay, this must go with that. I'm guessing he goes in there. Get it over. And then it looked like there was a Rick and Morty figures. Oh, these are cool. Rick and Morty in their spacesuits. Absolutely love those. That's a funny episode. Okay, love those. Those are cool. Uh, no more parts for this. So this is the cool little Loki and Thor. I don't know if it's a capsule toy. Not sure what that is, but that is neat. I really like that. Oh, wow, this box is fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, then we have a box. Okay, so that box is done. Not sure what's in this box, so we'll get it open. Now, a lot of people always ask me or make fun of me that I use scissors instead of a knife to open my boxes. But you know how many pops I found where the middle of the box is sliced? Because sometimes when you just take a knife and you slice into it, you can damage the content a lot easier. I find with a scissor, it's a lot easier to kind of go at like an angle like this sideways. So you cut the tape without damaging the products inside. I just find scissors safer. Okay, oh, it's wrapped up. Ooh, okay, there's some stuff on the side first. I'm going to see what this is. Uh, it looks like a lanyard clip, possibly. Ah, uh, some sh All right, there's some stuff on the side here. So we Ooh, okay, this is cool. We have some cool Captain America, Black Panther, Iron Man, and Black Widow socks. Okay, those are neat. Very neat. And, yeah, the pattern repeats on the opposite side. Okay, those are cool. <laughs> I'd wear those just because they're fun. And... 
Uh, what is this? Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, okay, I guess the lanyard holder goes to this. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Okay, it's an official prop replica. So it replicates what Patton Oswalt is wearing right there. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's, okay, that is neat. I guess that was a Loot Crate thing. I haven't seen that before. Okay, then we have a... Pop oh, wait, we have one more item before I look at the pop. Uh, oh, that is really neat. Okay, so it's a pin that has the first appearance of the Vision... It's from Loot Crate, but I really like that. Sometimes Loot Crate stuff is a little bit cheap, but this looks really awesome. Okay, love that. Okay, that's amazing. All right, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. All right, let's see what this is. Okay, cool, we have the Green Metallic Joker. It's a Target exclusive. I don't remember if I have the dark green one. I actually might need that one. Okay, awesome, I really enjoy that. Thank you, Al, I really appreciate it. There's actually a lot of really cool stuff in there that I wanted, so. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is going to be a fun video. Okay, Ali, that was awesome. I really enjoyed it. It was just a fun mix of stuff. Uh, okay. Wow, I don't even know where to go from there because that was so much fun. <laughs> okay, I'll do a commercial package since this is kind of cut and dry. This was... Uh, oh, Fugitive Toys Order. Okay. I think I remember what this is. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that is cool. So I bought two of these. They let you buy two. And I figured one of my patrons might want this because they had them on sale or just... I guess they just had them... I forget what it was. I think it was... Uh, although one is kind of damaged. That's okay, though, because I'm pretty sure they have these on sale for relatively cheap. So I didn't have them. I have one. I do have one that's a little dented. I'm going to contact my patrons. I have a couple that like My Hero Academia. So I... Oh, it's the All for One, the Fugitive Toys exclusive. I didn't have them yet. So I'm going to ask my patrons if they want one that's a little dented. And if they do, I'll stick it in their mystery box. It won't be such a mystery, but I'll ask them if they want it. That's kind of why I got the second one. All right, that's awesome. I love the My Hero Academia stuff. And speaking of that, I have a mystery gift here from Vincent, one of my patrons. He's working on a My Hero Academia set. Okay, so he just dropped this off at the store ooh, last weekend, I guess, a couple days ago. Has a little note on top. I'm going to read the note. If you ever meet Vincent, he's like the nicest person. He always comes in with a smile and he just like, he, he brings a warmth into your heart every time you talk to him. It's awesome. I love people like that. Okay, hi, Pop Fun to Play, Sean. Over the last two years of discovering and watching your videos, you have provided the YouTube community with amazing content. I have enjoyed being able to share my love for pops and figures and everything collectible. Coming by the shop and spending a few minutes with people in the world who loves and enjoys similar likes as I do is comforting. 2020 has been a lot of ups and downs. That is so true. Very true. But I could say being one of your viewers has made it a little less stressful. Tuning out all the noise of the daily world and watching someone who always starts his videos out with hello my YouTube friend. Always warrants a thumbs up click. <laughs> Thank you. Keep up the great work. I will speak for your YouTube viewers and say that we always enjoy the enthusiasm of your videos. I want to give back to you for always working your hardest to make great videos for us viewers. As a sign of appreciation, hope you enjoy the little gifts. Hope all is well. Your Patreon YouTube friend, Vincent. Also, I'll place one item for the cool kid. Okay. Cool kid will be happy. Like I said, Vincent is just such a nice guy. Thank you, Vincent. I'm like, the letter alone was worth it. You warmed my heart. Now let's dig into the package. I wasn't expecting. He just walked in and he's like, I got a gift for you. I was like, really? I told him I'll open it up on video just so that you guys can all enjoy it with me. All right. Oh, it looks fun. That's what it looks like. It looks like some figures or toys or something. I'm not going to look. I'm going to... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's wrapping there. Let's see what it is. So what do we got? Oh, okay. This is definitely for the cool kid. This is cool. Oh, I'm kind of jealous, but he's going to like that. It's a little SpongeBob like keychain where it's like a little mini SpongeBob. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. Uh, damn. See what we got here. Oh, <laughs> oh, these are neat. Okay, so this is the world's smallest, but it's like a little mini carded bumblebee. Absolutely love that. I love miniature toys like that. Oh, let's see. You know what I like. Okay, that is cool. Oh, there's a few of these. Oh, okay. We got Duke. Oh, that is neat. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> 
love these. I love them. What I love about small toys like this is I grew up, I had a Duke when I was little. I was probably about seven years old when I had a Duke. So I love that it's like a miniature version of him. And what I love to do with toys like this is I like when I take like a cool hot toys, like let's say I take a Deadpool figure, it's really cool to put little teeny accessories like this with them. That is so cool. I love that. Uh, oh, Snake Eyes. Oh, yeah. Original 1982 Snake Eyes. One of my all-time favorite toys. He might even be my favorite all-time toy. Hey, well, maybe there's a couple above him. Definitely top 10, though. That is cool. A couple. Oh, wow. <laughs> you bought everyone they had. Okay, Roblox. Another one of my favorites. Oh, this is cool. 1984 was one of my favorite years for G.I. Joe's. I just remember... I don't know how I got 20 bucks. I had 20 bucks... My mom took me and my sister to Toys R Us, and at the time, G.I. Joe figures were like $2.69, something like that. So I was able to buy about eight G.I. Joes, including this roadblock. I bought Baroness. I bought the, uh, I don't know, I bought a whole bunch of G.I. Joes that day. That's one of my favorite toy memories. I wish I could go back in time and just buy a stack of eight G.I. Joes again, but that is awesome. I love that. Okay. Oh, this is cool too. <laughs> so we have the miniature Starscream. So this is my perfect era because I was, this is I think 84, 85, 84. This is, I was a little bit younger when he came out, you know, like five, six. So I think this era right here are the ones that really hit my wheelhouse when I was eight years old. I always say like around eight years old is when you have your favorite toys growing up. So anywhere from like seven to 11, but eight years old is right in that wheelhouse. That's the stuff you really get nostalgic for. So that's amazing. Oh, we got one more. Oh, we got Optimus Prime. Okay. Wow. Okay, so cool kid. Vincent gave me all of these cool figures. Do you see them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then he also gave you something, which I put in this what? box. So it's a little surprise for you. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. I'm going to take the tape off. Are you ready? Yes. You're going to take it out? Yeah. All right. What is it? <gasps> oh, a world's smallest SpongeBob. Show them on well, the camera. This is cool. Isn't that really cool? So it's like a little teeny SpongeBob and you put it in here and then this is like, uh, looks like kinetic sand sort of or something. Mm -hmm. And it goes around. You want me to open it? Yeah. yeah let's check it out. I kind of want to get one for myself. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. All right, let's see if we can play with it. There he is. And I love this mini SpongeBob. I'm kind of jealous of the mini SpongeBob. Wow. This is cool. Look at that. Yeah. That's, how does this open up? Okay, put put him in there. All right. That feels like kinetic sand. Yeah, it's like kinetic sand or foam or something. Okay. All right. So he goes. He's in there, and then you turn the bottom, I think, and then it's supposed to make it look like he's on the waves, kind of. I don't know. Let's do it for a little bit. See if it. You can kind of see him in there. There he goes. <laughs> he's not really moving. He's just like he's breaking through the sand. I know. I'm trying to get him on the top. <laughs> uh, he's driving on the side. If you do it from like the side, you can. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> let's try right. it. Oh, no. All right. Let's try okay. it. Let's see if we can get on the camera. All right. Come on, SpongeBob. Oh, I think he's supposed to look like he's on top, but can't quite get him up there. It's all right. The cool kid will play with it. What do you want to tell Vincent? Thank you. Yeah, this is super awesome. I love it. Okay. You go, cool kid. Go play with it. Okay. All right. Thank you, Vincent. That was amazing. <laughs> I think these things are just the coolest. I, I think I actually saw these a little while ago, and I really wanted them, but then I kind of forgot about them. So just getting them now. Wow. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Okay, the second uh, mystery package was amazing. So now I need a little bit of a breather. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go through this package. Look at it. It's got Supreme tape. It must be epic. Okay, so I saw this listing on eBay. I'm going to give you a picture of it right here. It's a Temple of Doom Indiana Jones. I thought it might be a factory error and not a bootleg because as you can see in the picture, it's kind of... Um, you can see that like it's the wrong background. So they printed it on the wrong background. So I actually bid $35 for this. Now I figured if it was a bootleg, I'm overpaying a little bit. If it was legit, it was a great price for an arrow like that. 
what I got, it was an actual bootleg and not that one. So I was very disappointed. I contacted the seller though, and they're like, oh, 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 okay. You know, they made lots of excuses and I was able to get 50% refund because I'm happy to have a bootleg to show you guys. So I ended up paying $18 for this. So let's, uh, let's pull it out. <laughs> this bootleg is kind of funny looking because his head is so squished. So we have an Indiana Jones uh, Disney Parks exclusive bootleg. Uh, let me do a close-up comparing him to the legit one so that we can kind of see together. I haven't looked at him too close. So I want to kind of see what we can pick up as clues to see what the bootleg is. So it's easier for you guys to avoid getting this bootleg. Okay, I wanted to compare the two Indiana Jones. This one's the real one. This is the fake one. Let's take a close look at both sides. The fake one's box looks pretty decent. Like it would be really hard to tell just by looking at the box. The printing looks slightly like blurrier right here. Yeah, and you look at his belt, it looks way blurrier than that belt. You know, the cut's a little different, but I'm not seeing any major, and nothing's jumping out as looking really weird. Let's look at the stickers. This one looks, the real one looks bolder almost. But this sticker doesn't look bad. It looks like a pretty decent looking sticker. Okay, let's look at the side. We got 200. So the side looks really good. They did a good job with this one. The font looks good. The pop looks good. There's nothing funny looking. The hat is slightly off color and slightly more like pixelated maybe. Like with the print, you see more printer dots or something. Even the real, like the 200 almost looks better on the fake one. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the back if anything jumps out. Uh, I mean, I might be missing something. So if you guys see something on the fake one, just let me know. But the back looks pretty good. Nothing's jumping out. It's looking too funny. Maybe his pants are slightly darker. This is maybe slightly darker. The printing on his hat looks a little bit more pixelated. But the pop looks really good. That's one thing you look for on some boxes. The fake ones, the pop looks bad. That side looks pretty decent. Again, it looks slightly more fuzzy, but it's not like terrible. In a picture, I think it'd be really hard to tell. Now let's look at the top. Top, again, the printing on the fake is slightly more blurry or more like pixelated. Let's look at the bottom. Now the sticker is missing on the bottom of this one. So that's something that usually is the first thing that will give me a little like a uh, warning to myself if i see the sticker missing but the legit one sometimes will be missing a sticker too it, it might have been an early box swap it might have been a um just got lost i like also seeing the the store stickers like a hot top in this case is the disney park sticker so the legit one has a secondary sticker stuck to it i like to see that you know so i if you're someone who likes to scan your pops into the app but you like removing the stickers. I almost said keep the stickers on. I used to take them off, but with the bootlegs now that are running around, especially on an expensive pop, I think it's nice to leave the sticker on just as a way to just, it gives it more provenance, makes it a little bit easier to notice if it's fake or not. So this would be really hard. Just looking at the box itself, this is a good looking bootleg. Now the pop, his head looks squished. So let's take him out of the box. It's hysterical. I think the way he looks. Oh, actually let me test out how flimsy the box feels. This one feels slightly flimsy, but not too far off. Yeah, the, the legit one is slightly thicker on the cardboard, but it's got the, the flap cut is pretty much the same. Sometimes the face have a different flap cut. It's slightly, slightly different. No, it's about the same. So the flap cut is not really showing anything. The thickness of the cardboard feels good. Let me see the trays. So like this doesn't fail the, the flimsy test. Okay, so the actual tray looks exactly the same. It has even the same number right here, the 7688. I think it's the 768. So the tray is not a giveaway. I don't want to mix them up because they look so familiar. Okay, so here's the legit one. And 
Here's the fake one. <laughs> I just, his squished head just looks hysterical to me. Like, look how squished in it is. Now, I think his beard is darker as well. His sword is a little bent here, but legit pop sometimes have funny swords or funny accessories that are bent. Paint job looks a little bit sloppier on the fake. His hat is different, just the thickness and the the way it's molded. And then I think, okay, so the fake has a darker black date and then the legit one, the date is kind of like a reddish color. So I don't know if there's multiple versions of this one because the number is correct. They put the right number on the head. So the, the people that bootleg them are getting smarter about trying to make them look legit. If someone didn't know, might open it up and be like, oh, there's the date. He looks good, but I wonder if, you know, when you see this head, you're like, that head just looks hysterical. He just looks so silly. <laughs> so I love it. I love having just a bootleg in my collection that I can compare it to. And I love warning you guys so that you're not paying. You know, if you buy the bootleg for 10 maybe $20, you're still probably overpaying for it. But at least you have a version of him if you like a squished head. And, you know, the legitimate one is, what, like 160 180 I think this one I have for sale for 140 just because it box is damaged. But to me, it's just crazy. The only thing that really throws it off is the head. The head is funny. If they fix the head a little bit, it'd be really hard to tell which one was the fake and which one was real. Interesting. Oh, his squashed head is so funny looking. <laughs> okay. So that's a bootleg. I would like to get more bootlegs. I might start buying one or two here or there just to have them to compare to what I have legit, just to make it easier for you guys to figure out which bootlegs are out there and how to determine what the bootleg is. I think it's funny. He also put a fake gold chain in there. So I got like fake Supreme Cape to go with uh, my fake Funko Pop with a fake gold chain. <laughs> Lots of fake. Uh, okay, let's do a commercial box right here. Uh, oh, this came from Blizzard. Remember a couple videos ago, I got a couple pops from Blizzard. I think this is another one that I ordered. Although there is a purple metallic pop that apparently most of them got destroyed in a fire. So that's going to be shipped in like March. And they sent me an email to give me the option of either getting a refund or wait to get the pop. I kind of want the pop because it looks so cool. So I said, you know, just leave the pre-order on. I'll get it. I hate doing pre-orders, but in this case, what else am I going to do? You know, $15 back, or maybe you get a really cool, maybe kind of rare pop in the future. Uh, who knows? Maybe the future print will be a smaller run just because of what happened. Okay, let's see what we got here. You guys want to see what's in the box? I basically, when I placed this order, I think I ordered $75 worth of pops at 15 bucks each to get the free shipping. Uh, ooh, okay, this one's amazing looking. So this was one of the ones that just came out then. It has a 916 manufactured date, but I think it was just released recently. So we have the Illidan. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but Illidan from World of Warcraft. He looks awesome. Now it looks like his paint transferred a little bit to the box, but I think I can, if I open him up with a little rubbing alcohol, I should be able to clean that up. He is amazing. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, oh, she is cool too. I know, yeah, this is the same date. So I guess this was another newer one. So we have Lady... Sylvanas from World of Warcraft, another metallic pop. She looks amazing. These ones are really wanted just because of the way they look. I never really played World of Warcraft. I did play regular Warcraft. I love real-time strategy games, but I never really played World of Warcraft, so I'm not connected to the characters. But I think the way the characters look, the pops look, they look amazing. Okay, and then I think there's one just older one I used. Yeah, this is an older one. It's a Diamond Mercy. She looks really cool, though. All these are a little dusty. I'm going to have to dust them a little bit. Uh, boxes are a little, little, little teeny bit beat up. That's okay, though. I'm really happy to have her. She is cool. Okay, so I'm happy to have more of my order from Blizzard. I hate I ordered these like a few months ago. <laughs> I hate pre-orders. They're the worst. I just like when things come out and you order them. But right now, it's just like you have to pre-order. If you don't, it comes out and then the bots get all of it. And then you don't get any of it. And it's just like... <laughs> Okay, let's do one more mystery box. I'm having so much fun out of these. Okay, so this was just addressed to Pop Fun to Play. It's from Jada, New Jersey. I have no idea what this package is. It's just a mystery. So let's dig in. I'm going to let you guys kind of see first what it is. I have no idea. A little bit of a mystery. Oh, 
message fell out. Okay, let's see what it says. All right, we got a message. Hi, Pop Fun to Play. Hope you are well. 2020 has been quite a year and is slowly but surely coming to end. I am so excited that people are getting vaccinated right now. Now, it's still going to be a very tough winter for everyone, but we see a little hope at the end of the title. So still continue to try to be safe. Stay healthy out there. I want all you guys to stay healthy. And hopefully by next summer, things will be better. I'm looking forward to just getting out of the house, hanging out with people, going hunting, doing fun things. Okay. Enclosed are two vinyl figures that perfectly represent 2020. A cute dumpster fire by 100% soft. And this is fine dog pop. Hope you don't have these. Warm wishes and happy holidays, Jay. Okay. <laughs> With the, this is fine. We, uh, me and my family, we love this meme because it's just how it feels. <laughs> so whenever we're having a bad day, we just start, you know, the adult swim theme. We just start going, this is fine. Everything's fine. All right. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I'm actually really excited because I don't have these. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I love this. This is perfect. This sums up 2020 in a single pop. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, thank you. I love that. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I've wanted one of these. <laughs> Okay, I gotta pull it out, the dumpster fire. Uh, every time I see these, I'm like, oh, I should get one. Like, I see them online when I'm ordering stuff, but I've been trying not to spend too much this year. So, oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it, does it open? No, it does open. This is cool. Absolutely love that. Dumpster fire and this is fine. Perfect. Thank you. You just made my year. <laughs> okay. Wow, thank you. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. <laughs> that was perfect. I love it. I had to show these to my wife and the cool kid and they're fighting over and they want them. <laughs> I love these. These are amazing. Okay, I don't think anything else can compete with those because <laughs> all the gifts you guys sent me was, was wonderful. I love it. Okay, let's do uh, a commercial package. I bought this from the Funko shop. This was, uh, I wasn't planning on making this order, but they had the deal where you would get a free Christmas Freddy Funko. And I figured, uh, well, I wasn't going to, I'm trying not to spend a cent right now. I'm trying to save up. Uh, I think New York City might shut down again in January for like a month or two. So I was just like, all right, I shouldn't really be spending money. But then uh, I think my patron Alex was like, oh, did you see that people were paying like $40, $50 for the Freddy Funko? And I looked on eBay and a bunch of them were selling from like 30 to $50. So I thought if I spend $75, I get it for free. Why not? Grab a couple of the newer Funko Shop exclusives. Now Funko is officially selling more and more on the Funko Shop just because they're not selling as much to stores. So I have a feeling that the newest Funko Shop exclusives are not that rare. I think they're just, you know, they're sticking the sticker on it, but they're still making 20, 30, 40, 50,000 of these. So I haven't really felt the rush to get the newest Funko Shop exclusives. But I feel like I miss out every time I don't buy them. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, this is very cool. We have the unmasked Wolverine. Although, he's, you know, a lot of times he doesn't have uh, anything on. But he's cool. Love Wolverine. He's one of my all-time favorite Marvel characters. And so all these, I think, were $15 each for the pops I bought, which is more than I really like to pay for a pop. But then I got the one that's selling for 30 Even if it goes down to $20 to get for free, it's kind of worth it. Uh, oh, this one is neat. I don't really have any of these uh, alien mix-up ones yet. So we have the Bullseye remix from Toy Story. I really want the whole set. Back in the early 2000s, late 90s, my wife was collecting the aliens. So I have a lot of fond memories of us going to the Disney store, hunting around, looking for the alien figures and toys and stuff. So I love these. These are really wonderful. Fantastic. I love it. I love getting stuff that kind of connects to people I know, especially people I love. So it just, it makes the item a little bit more special to me. Uh, okay, here he is. Here's the free Christmas Freddy Funko. He's cute. I mean, I like him. Again, I probably wouldn't have gone on my way. I wouldn't pay 30 to 50 for him, but some people seem to want to pay that. But getting him for free from a collection, I'm actually happy with that. That is cool. Okay, I've got a couple more in here. Oh, this is neat. So we have the Mr. Monopoly beauty contest version of him. 
absolutely love this. Monopoly is a game I played a lot when I was little. I have a love-hate relationship with Monopoly. I think it's a fun game, but it's also one of the worst games ever made because it leads to a lot of people fighting. And at the end, it's one or two players playing for like another three hours or everyone else is having fun somewhere else. <laughs> but I love Monopoly. I used to love playing it on my Commodore 64. That was more fun to me when I actually played against the computer because then at least there wasn't any kind of weird fights and stuff. <laughs> I think I've yelled at many people playing Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> At least when I was younger. Uh, oh, okay. I got a couple of sodas. Yeah, this is cool. So we have the Knives Chow Limited, the 4,000 pieces from the WonderCon. I don't think there's a chase with this one. I think it's just the figure. But still, she's limited to 4,000. So it's pretty limited. That's cool. I want to collect a lot more sodas. I haven't really gone out of my way, but I feel like over the next year or so, I'll start really picking them up. Uh, okay, now we have the Ramona Flowers from the WonderCon. Are these both from the same con? I'm guessing they are. Two different stickers, but the same con. So one's like a con sticker, one's a shared sticker. I'm not sure if one is worth more than the other, but she's limited to 3,000 pieces. Again, that's almost a chase. I think some chases are like up to 3,000 pieces, maybe 1,500 pieces. Uh, either way, really happy to get that. Those, I think, were like 12 each. And one more pop. Maybe those are 15 each, because I think it was $75. And so I got one, two, three, four, five, six items. Uh, no, okay, six items, because if those are 12, that would have been one, two, three, four, 60, 70, 82. So it was like an $82 order. Okay, yeah, definitely those were 12. Oh, this one is super funny. I was actually happy to see these. So we have Charlie as the director from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Absolutely funny episode. I love these. This is the first one from the set I have. I need to get the rest. I figure eventually someone's going to trade them into my shop, so I'll get them. But for now, I have the Funko Shop exclusive. Very happy with that. Okay, so that's everything from that order. Okay, I have two large boxes here. These come from my patron, Raphael. He, uh, if you might have seen maybe like two months ago, he traded in a big collection of stuff with a lot of Target exclusives, a lot of really fun stuff. And he traded it in before I even gave him something. But then I ended up trading him a pretty expensive Funko Pop. And I think he ended up trading a couple more boxes of things that kind of make up the difference. Like this was, I haven't marked October 4th, so it's been a couple months. I forget what's in these boxes. Let's dig in and check it out. I think there's stuff for my collection and stuff to put in my shop. Which is good. I'm kind of, I've been trying to blow out as many pops as I can. So I need to get a bunch of videos done for you guys so that I can get a lot more stuff back into my shop. And if New York City makes my shop close down right after Christmas, I plan on getting a lot of stuff listed on Macari this winter. I'll probably do a lot of special deals, maybe some giveaways. I honestly, I forget how much I gave him on a store credit for everything, but definitely some cool stuff in here that I think I needed. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, these are neat. So this is the, um, was it Lydia? Lydia? I forget how you say his name, but it's the one where he's in the full battle suit with the t-shirt. That's super cool. I did not have that one. So I really wanted that one. Yeah. I think he had a second one. So again, I'm going to ask my patron, especially Vincent, after he gave me such an awesome gift. I'm going to see if he needs one of these. Uh, if he does, one of these will be his. Okay, then we have the child from the Mandalorian. This is the common version. I don't think I have that version of him yet. So I'm actually really happy to get that. Uh, what is there, like a 30 versions of him now? <laughs> There's a lot of versions, but I love the Mandalorian. It's such a great show. So I'm happy to get that. That's going to my collection. Uh, oh, okay, we have some 10 inch. Okay, we have a 10 inch bullseye. I actually have a couple of these now. As you see, I have them on the wall. I think I have one or two in my shop. So I'm, he's for, going to be for sale. I guess I gotta get him on Macari because I'm overstocked. Overstocked. Uh, oh, this is a cool 10 inch that I did not have. So we have a Star Wars Celebration exclusive Stormtrooper. That one is amazing. I did not have him yet. Really happy to get him. He's going in my collection. Uh, Okay, this is fun. We have the rainbow SpongeBob SquarePants. He looks so cool. Love the way he looks. This one's going in my collection. I don't have them yet. And okay, so that's everything in that box. So that was a lot of like bigger stuff. I think the other box had the smaller pops. Just, you know, regular size ones. I'm actually really happy to get through these because I have probably 10 more giant boxes so two or three videos worth of pops to get through and i've been turning away collections people have been asking to sell to me and i'm just overloaded with stuff so hopefully in the next week or two i can get through all these collections and i'll be buying again because i know a lot of people need to get a few extra bucks in their pockets okay let's go through here let's see what we got 
think he actually had a lot of newish stuff for me that I needed. So this is going to be fun. Uh, okay, we have the Zombie Red Skull from the Marvel Collector Core Box. Uh, I think I actually just got this in a video or two ago. So this one will be a duplicate for sale. We have, let's see what we got. Oh, this is neat. We have the artist version of Zero or whatever you call that. I actually don't have that one yet. So that one's going to my collection. I really like that. That is really neat. We have a common speed racer. That one I don't have. He's going into my collection. We have a, the inventor. I actually just got this one a few videos ago. So that one will be for sale. Um, uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Hot Topic exclusive Kurt Cobain. I have this one, so he'll be for sale. But he is really cool. I'm going to double check my patrons' mystery boxes. See if anyone's a fan of Kurt Cobain. Because that's a really neat pop. Uh, okay, we have Edward with Kebabs. It's another Funko Shop exclusive from Edward Scissorhands. I also just recently got that one. So I'm going to have a couple of those for sale. Uh, okay, we have the Shrimp Brick. It's a 2019 New York Comic Con exclusive. That one I have already. We have a... Oh, Scrappy-Doo Funko Shop exclusive. That one I think has a little bit of value. I'm pretty sure I have them already, though, so he'll be for sale. But I'm sure someone will be happy to get them. Uh, okay, we have another one of these zeros, but this one is out of the hard case. I guess he must have used the hard case for something. I might just... He's worth less without the hard case. I might just keep him just to have one that I can actually play with, take out of the box while keeping the other one sealed. Because that's pretty cool. I do like that one. And I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, okay, we have the SSG Goku 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one I don't think I have yet. So that one's one of my collection. I've been slowly putting that set together. Uh, okay, we have the Super Saiyan Vegeta Gold Metallic or Gold Chrome from Dragon Ball Z. It's Toy Tokyo 2018 exclusive. This one I do have, so he'll be for sale. Dragon Ball Z stuff's always in demand, though, so that'll sell quickly. Oh, this is cool. So we have the Concept Series Star Killer from the Star Wars Celebration. I don't have that one yet. So that one's going into my collection. Very happy to get that. Uh, okay, we have the Shrimp Morty from the 2019 New York Comic Con. That one is very cool. I do have that one already. Uh, okay, we have the Common Orco. I don't remember if I have them or not. I might need that one. That's one I'm going to have to double check. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we have the Concept Series Chewbacca. Very cool. Don't have that one. That one's going into my collection. Uh, okay, we have an AC Slater from Saved by the Bell. That one is cool. I picked these up for like $2 each from Barnes & Noble uh, four or five years ago, I feel like, when they were on sale. He's got some value now, which is cool. I don't remember if the ones I had were damaged or not, so this one I'm going to double check. That might be a box upgrade. Uh, okay, and then we have the really cool Marvel Collector Core Deadpool with Headpool. Love that one. I do have that one already, though, so he'll be for sale. And one more in this box. Okay, and then we have the 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Yzma from the um, Emperor's New Group. Yeah, Emperor's New Group. I guess this, I haven't seen this movie, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm guessing Yzma changes into an animal. Very cool pop. I don't have that one. That one's going in my collection. Okay, so that's everything I got from Raphael. Thank you for the treat. I really appreciate it. Okay, I have one more trade with some really amazing things in it that are not... I mean, there's pops, lots of pops, but also some cool stuff they picked up for me and they just gave it to me for the retail price. So happy about that. Uh, and I have one more commercial purchase. Okay, so this is from Target. I waited almost, I think, six, eight months to get this. They finally restocked it. I was able to get two of these because one set is going to go to the cool kid. And this one is mine. I tried to get one in his size and one in my size. I am really excited for this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I'm not... Uh, I feel like I have to open it, but I kind of want to keep it sealed. So we have the Black Light Spider-Man with t-shirt. Love the series. This is one of my favorite series from this year. So I absolutely love the Black Light series. I love the t-shirt. I got to double check. I might have ordered a second one for myself and not even for the cool kid. I should have ordered three. Because now that I think of it, I'm kind of thinking I want the one to wear. I don't remember. I'm going to have to look. If I ordered a smaller size, I know it's from him. If I ordered two extra larges, then I know I ordered one for myself and one to keep it sealed. I forget. Either way, this is amazing. And I think I got that for like $24.99, whatever the retail price. So happy. For the longest time, it was up to like $50 to $75. Bucks. I hate overpaying for new stuff when it comes out. I like being patient and seeing if I can get it for the original retail price or less. Because if you like double pay for everything that comes out, you're going to get half the stuff that you want. I'd rather not have one item and then get two other items than double pay for the one item. Even if I really want the other item, 
there's plenty of other things that I really want. There's actually so many things I can't even get because there's so many things I want that I'd rather try to get the most value for my dollar instead of spending the most on one thing when there's so many other things I want as well. Okay, so this last box of stuff is stuff that's traded into my shop from Lisa and Tito. Very nice couple. They are just really wonderful people and they picked up some stuff for me that well, they mentioned that they saw them at Target and they had bought them. I was like, oh my gosh, I really want them. And they said, you know what? The next time we're at Target, we're going to grab them for you. They brought them in and they just wanted the price they paid. They weren't looking for a profit. They weren't trying to flip them. They just wanted to help out my collection. And I really appreciate that. Okay, that business pops. And then this Target bag has the things they got for me. So I'm going to go through those first because these are amazing. And the funny thing is, this is going to connect to what Vincent got me. I guess multiple people now know the kind of stuff I love and I love it. Okay, this is amazing. So we have these Jada Nano Metal Mini vehicles that are, these are based on G.I. Joe. So these are, this is like 83 G.I. Joe. This is 85, 86 G.I. Joe. And this is 84 G.I. Joe. I had that and that as a kid, I didn't have that. But these are amazing. And I also loved Micro Machines when I was a kid. So to me, this is like mixing up a couple of the things I really loved. And it's new and they were inexpensive. I think it's like $8 a set. I thought that was amazing. I love the way it looks on the card. So I'm probably going to keep that sealed. But I feel like I need to get another one eventually to open them up. To use them. Like I said, I like playing the little teeny toys with my action figures. I think it makes really cool photos. Or little diorama displays. Okay, so we got that one. They got me the Harry Potter set. With the two Harry Potter cards. Now, I love Harry Potter. I, uh, you know, I saw Harry Potter when I was... 25 30 years old so i don't connect with this as much still really love the little miniature cars but they just decided to grab me the whole side of them which i appreciate it because i love all these okay these are awesome now we have the transformer set i love it these i think these are 84 transformers or 85 84 85 i had bumblebee i did not have optimus i did not have starscream when i was little i had the next wave of ones that came out I had a ton of Transformers when I was little, but I didn't buy them. I was buying G.I. Joe's when these came out. And then like the next year, I bought a bunch of Transformers. But all my friends had these and I watched the cartoon. So I connect with these. Absolutely love those. Those are amazing. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay, and then we have the Back to the Future you know, metal ones. These ones are amazing. It's one from each movie. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. When this came out, the first one in the theaters, I was eight years old. Again, when you're eight years old, that's like the prime time of your nostalgia from your childhood. So absolutely love Back to the Future. These are amazing. Okay, and then finally they got me the original Batman series. These are amazing. We had the original Batmobile. We have the Batcycle and the Jokermobile. I don't really remember that car. I must have showed up in just like one or two episodes. But I love these. When I was a little kid, I did watch the original Batman series a ton in reruns. And when my son was like three or four, he got really into this Batman and he watched a ton of the episodes. So I love this. This is really cool. I love this whole series. I would like to see Jada Metals make a lot more miniature cars like this. Like they could probably do a whole series of more Transformers in their car forms. They could probably do a whole ton more of the G.I. Joe cars because there's so many cars and vehicles. And uh, Back in the Future, this is pretty good. That kind of covers it all. Uh, Batman that kind of covers it all but they could do other Batman series I feel like there's a lot of potential in this series absolutely love these and like I said I feel like down the road I gotta get more of them so Lisa and Tito thank you so much really appreciate it there's so much of this kind of nostalgia stuff coming out right now the was it G.I. Joe Legends and the um New Masters of the Universe, the articulated ones that look like the original. I want all those. They're just so hard to get with the pandemic right now and toys not being distributed very well and stuff not being available online very often or easily. It's so hard to collect that stuff and a lot of people are trying to flip it to make a buck because they need to make a few extra dollars. So it's just like this year is hard to collect, but... I'm finding things or I'm getting people helping me. Like I said, don't go crazy over that one thing you really, really want and overpay for it because there's maybe something else that you'd really want. Like these, I really want. And I was able to get them for retail price because someone helped me out. And so I'm sure there's other collectors that you can contact with, become friends with that can help you out as well. Just buy the cool things that you love at a good price. Just don't go crazy overpaying because eventually you'll be able to get it for a good price. And if you don't, there's going to be something else that you want. There's always something else cool out there. Woo, I'm having fun in this video. Okay, so the rest of these pops, uh, Lisa and Tito traded in. They basically just traded for store credit to get some other stuff from the shop. I think uh, usually when people trade stuff in, I give them 
usually around 75% of the pop price guide, sometimes 60% if it's something that I have like a lot of, or uh, I think it will be hard to sell. And then sometimes if there's something I really want, I give 100%, just like an equal value trade. Let's dig in. Ah, uh, yeah, they had some newer stuff that I needed. Okay, first we have a Chucky Soda. These I think really loved, you know, going, trying to get the chases. So they end up with a bunch of duplicates of the commons. And I think this is actually a really nice figure. I, mean, I think they're a little bit overpriced, but if you compare it to a pop, here, I'll just open up a Orco. If you compare it to the pop, the size is about the same. You know, pop might have a little bit of a bigger head, but in most cases, you're getting a figure of about the same size. Like when you look at the images of these figures, you think they're a little bit smaller. And at first I was like, ah, they're not really worth buying for $15. But... You're getting a figure that's practically the same. I mean, in this case, they have the same exact head, you know, the head size. So I, it's actually a pretty nice figure. Uh, you're paying for the gamble a little bit. These should be like $10 figures. You're paying $15 because you're buying the gamble. But if there's a figure you really like, try to get it open for $10. Because then you'll save five bucks and you get the figure you want. You're not getting the chase, but maybe you just really want a Chucky figure. So I think they're pretty cool. And this is how limited is this? This is... You know, 1,200 pieces, it's not super rare, but it's not super common. It's not printed to hundreds of thousands. Plus, I absolutely love these tin cans. I think they're just the coolest packaging display for a figure. I really get into these. I need to start collecting more and trying to get some of the chases and whatnot. Okay, and then they traded in a second Chucky common, so I'm going to have one of these for sale. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much I'll be selling commons for. It's probably going to be... If they're selling well online, I'll match the price. I'll just take the pop price guide price. But I'm assuming the ones that are not chases probably sell for around 10 to 12-ish. That's kind of my guess. Uh, okay, we have the Game Reverse Hulk. I don't have this one. He's very cool. That's going into my collection. We have the Fantastic Four Human Torch. I might have that one. That one, I'm going to have to double check. Okay, the next one we have is uh, Squidward Tentacles from SpongeBob the Movie. Or, yeah, the Spongebob on the run. This is cool. I don't have that one. That one's going in my collection. That's cool. I love when people trade in newer pops because it helps me, you know, get all the newer stuff that I'm missing out on. We have the Zombie Bart from the Simpsons Treehouse of Horrors. Love that one. Need that one. That one's going in my collection. Love the Treehouse of Horrors. So that's very cool. We have uh, the regular Mr. Fantastic. I actually might need a couple of these. So they might actually help me finish the set. Absolutely love the Fantastic Four. So that's cool. Uh, we have the Captain Marvel, the one where she's in the rainbow suit. That one I believe I have already. And then we have... Ooh, we have another Treehouse of Horrors. We have the Donut Head Homer. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Very cool. I think in the case of one like this, I ended up giving them the full value for it in trade. Or at least I gave them full retail value for it. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. We got the Invisible Girl from the Fantastic Four. That is awesome. Again, I don't remember if I have or not. I might need her. Absolutely love those. Uh, oh, this is cool. They helped me get one of the New York Comic Con ones that I didn't have. The Nightwing. So I don't have this one. This is another one towards the set that I need. Very happy to get that. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Thor Ragnarok Stanley. I don't think I had that one yet either. So that one's going in my collection. Sweet. They ended up getting me a lot of newer stuff that I needed. Oh, this is really neat. This is the... Well, it's... I guess in a recycled box or something, but it's Alice in Wonderland. It's a Target exclusive, but she's kind of like a pale blue. Really like the way this one looks. That one I need. That one's going in my collection. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, we have Billy Butcherson from Hocus Pocus. It's a spirit exclusive. He's really cool looking. That one I don't have, so that one's going in my collection. I think Lisa and Tito love going out to hunt, so they'll find a lot of the newest exclusives when they come out. Uh, okay, we have a Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger. I, uh, what year is this? This is a newer print of him. I don't know if it was a variant or not from the other ones I have. I'm going to have to double check because they change them so often. So I might be keeping that one. Okay, next we have, oh, we have another New York Comic Con one. We have the Red Goblin that they got for me. Very cool. Very happy to get that. And then we have uh, the really cool purple Cheshire Cat from Target. Love the way this one looks. Very cool looking pop. And... See what we got. We got the Commons Bob's Big Boy. That one I have already. So he'll be for sale. It looks like a couple more common ones in here. Uh, Max with Cone from Pets 2. Pretty sure I have that one. 
Actually, maybe I don't have this one. I kind of don't recognize them. When this this came out like a year or two ago, yeah. March 7th, 2019. So that one I might have, but I'm gonna have to double check. And then we have uh, Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. And one more, one more. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have the Target exclusive Flock Doug Alien mashup, whatever you call these. Love this one. I love Pixar movies, I love Toy Story, love the Alien. Like I said, it reminds me of the early days of my wife where we were out hunting. Absolutely love this pop. I need this full set. This is the second one I have from the set. So happy to get that. Thank you guys. So that's everything I got from Lisa and Tito. Thank you so much for trading to me, guys. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for picking up these sets. Absolutely love them. They're amazing. All right, I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.